I recently bought myself the 6 ultrafire lithium ion batteries with a capacity of 4800 mAh. And that is awesome, right? I mean they have twice the capacity than big brands like Samsung, Philips or Sanyo with their models and they are even cheaper. Well, it is actually too good to be true. Just look at the site where I got them. I mean, working time is always 4 hours? Are you kidding me? So an LED will light up 4 hours with the little current it needs, but a bigger motor which needs way more current also will live for 4 hours? You know what? I call bullshit. So in this video, let's not find out the true capacitance of those batteries yet. But let's have some fun with a bit of extreme discharging, overcharging and short circuit experiments. First of all, let's inspect the protective packaging of those turrets. And as you can see, it tells us that it has a protective circuit inside, which prevents it from over discharge when its voltage falls under 2.5 volts, overcharge and short circuits. Now that would spoil the fun. But first of all, let's check the voltage of all those 6 batteries. And most of them have actually a pretty good voltage, no complaints there. But just as I thought, there was a special one, with a voltage of under 2 volts, which is not good. Just to make sure that there really wasn't a protective circuit, I started to solder a wire to the plus terminal. And I used sanding paper to rough up the negative terminal, so I could solder another wire there. Then I got my bench power supply and limited the voltage to 4.2 volts and the constant current to 500 milliamps because I do not know the real capacitance so let's charge it up slowly. It took quite a while and the current draw dropped slowly over time. When it was somewhere underneath 100 milliamps, I decided to stop charging and put a load on the battery. At first I used this high power LED and monitored the voltage with my multimeter. But that was quite a small load, so I got this old fashioned bulb which drew way more current and speeded up the process. Ok, now we are at 2.5 volts and it should turn off now. Or now. Or now? Well, I call bullshit, this thing has no protective circuit. And where should it hide? I stripped off the plastic around the cell and there is nothing. In conclusion, there is no circuit, so we can have some fun with more dangerous experiments. For the overcharge test, I got myself this 12 volt moped battery and charged it up again so it would have enough power to damage these things. I also charged up the unprotected battery, because this will be the victim for the short circuit experiment. I also used these long acrylic pipes and hot glued a piece of cardboard in the top, so that the batteries can sit there later. Ok, now let's move this outside, because this can be dangerous and let me tell you that you should not do this. Let's start with the overcharge. We place the 12 volt battery on the ground and check the voltage again. We used the screw terminals to secure the exposed wires to the battery and got the amp meter in place. With the flick of a switch, the 3.7 volt battery started charging with a 12 volt source. And it was boring. Like, really nothing happened. The amp draw settled at around 1 amp and we waited and waited and nothing happened. That's a plus point for the battery, I guess. Now let's try the short circuit. I used some silvered copper wire to connect the plus and minus terminal and immediately dropped the battery into the acrylic pipe. And guess what happened after 20 minutes? Nothing. Well it got pretty hot, but nothing more happened. Another plus for the battery, but we got an extra, another short circuit, but this time we could measure the amps and at first they went down to around 7 amps only to rise up to around 9 amps afterwards. And we even got a small explosion at the end, it even ripped off the plastic protection. What can I say at the end? These things may not have a protective circuit, but they are not as dangerous as I thought they would be. And that doesn't mean that you should try this. Let's end this experiment here and if you liked this video then don't forget to like, maybe also subscribe to get more videos like this, stay creative and I will see you next time.